are you all doing? Pokemon Pit Beta. My name is Edgar, and I debuted here a little while ago, and I had a good PMP battle, and it was received well, so I'm doing a second submission. We both bought a fun team here. I'm battling my girlfriend's brother, Yotsuba, and um, this is pretty cool, actually. So um, I'm starting off with my lead Dragonair with the Evil Light, and I'm really interested to see how it'll do in this match. And so he goes with his fully Eon team, and it's cool. So he starts off with Leaf Eon, goes to the substitute. Of course he's got a Swords Dance coming, so I take the time to go for a Dragon Dance. I resist any of his moves, so that shouldn't be too dangerous for me to do. He Baton passes that Sword Dance though, so I'm thinking, okay, was he going to go into Flareon? No, he goes into Espeon, but he doesn't Sword Dance, he still has a sub up. And I go for a Dragon Tail. I thought originally that the Dragon Tail would send the sub out as well, but no it didn't. So I take the liberty to Dragon Dance again, knowing I can take any hit since I have the Evil Light, and I have Defense EVs in both defenses, so yeah. He goes for the Psychic and doesn't do too much damage, and he goes for another, but I follow up with the Dragon Tail. Now, with two Dragon Dances, this should be doing a decent amount to this Espeon. Not only that, but sending it out and bringing in the Flareon, which I anticipated earlier. Ah, he goes for um, some... I think he goes for the Fire Fan, and I go for the... No, he goes for the Toxic, and I Dragon Danced. Now, status is the only thing that this Dragonair really can't handle, so... That's where I have to rest now, right? And so I rest, get all my HP back up, get rid of this Toxic, and I still have my Dragon Dance boost. So I'm trying to keep those. He wishes, and I'm anticipating that he's going to give it to Espeon. Oh wait, remember what I said about status? Ne never mind, never mind. Anyway, so the Fire Fang comes in, he burns me, but as you saw earlier, it really doesn't matter thanks to the Shed Skin ability I have. I send him out, Dragon Tail, Espeon comes back in. He gains the wish though, so that's not exactly too good of a prospect right there, but whatever the case may be, I he gains the wish, I lose my burn. Beautiful. I Dragon Dance once more, and um, I'm definitely trying to get to max. And he goes to the Psychic here, and I believe I Dragon Tail. I mean, no, oh, no, 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 never mind. Yeah, he goes into his um, Vaporeon. Now I Dragon Tail, but it misses thanks to that 90% accuracy, which is really, really bad. And, um,. I Dragon Dance once more just to try to get a little bit more of a foot in the door, you know? But um, he substitutes again, but it really doesn't matter. I Extreme Speed on this turn. That's the last move I have to be able to break the sub down. So this way nothing's getting a sub in a pass. And he goes for the Acid Armor. And um, I was a little perplexed by this because why would you go for the Acid Armor when you know I have the Dragon Tail? I'll just send you out. He goes for it again though, so I'm... I'm cool with it. I mean, I have faith in Faith, so she'll prove me through this battle no matter what. Dragon Tail sent him out and both of his boosts. He resists the hit pretty well thanks to those boosts, but it doesn't really matter at this point. The Jolteon comes in, and I extreme speed it, because I'm thinking that from this range of HP it has, and since its defenses are like freaking paper, I'll be able to rip right through it. So thankfully, that goes very well, and he goes into his Umbreon. I Dragon Dance again, because... Umbreon really has no offensive capabilities that it can really pull off against Faith. The only thing it can do is Toxic. And my answer to Toxic is pretty much the Shed Skin. So I mean, nope, no problem at all there. He wishes. I don't know what's going to get it because it doesn't really matter. I send him out. And even to an Umbreon, the Dragon Tail does a very, very decent amount of damage. Over half. I mean, that's pretty impressive. So um, the Toxic is racking up. And I Extreme Speed Espeon as well because its defenses are like paper too. I, in fact, I think Espeon has the worst defenses out of Jolteon and Espeon, but I'm not too sure on that. Don't quote me on it. I'm not that well-versed in the Eevees. He goes into Leafeon. Oh, great. Hi. Rest. <laughs> oh, boy. So, this this is not really looking like something that can be a threat to me. He goes to the Leaf Blades. I mean... Only if he gets like 8 crits in a row, then maybe I might get a little bit damaged by that, but I don't think that's really possible. But then again, this is Pokemon Black and White. 8 critical hits are possible. 8 protects in a row are possible. I've seen 5 in a row before. But whatever the case may be, um, the Leap Blades come, and he goes out. The Dragon Tail sends him flying, and it doesn't KO, because Leafeon has really good defense. But, eh, whatever. I mean, I'm hoping to be able to get it later on. I have faith in that. <laughs> anyway, so he... Um, he tries to burn me with the Fire Fang, but I send him out with the Dragon Tail. And um, it actually finishes off Flareon, who's more bulky than the most of them. So, I mean, that's a pretty good stack right there. And it goes for the Scald from Voiporeon. Um, doesn't really do much. I send it out of here. 
Um, I, I wish there was more to explain than just like what you're seeing, but basically what you're seeing is exactly what I was thinking. I mean, nothing really posed a threat to faith. I mean, and faith, I have like a lot of pride in faith because she is a very well-rounded Pokemon. I know she's not the best. She has weaknesses on a lot of sides, but I mean, it's a solid Pokemon if you play her right. So Faith comes in, I extreme speed the um, I extreme speed the weed, and it goes down. And um, this is pretty much it. This is his last Pokemon, and to wrap this match up, I go with the extreme speed, and finally I take it out. So pretty good game. That was a fun battle. I mean, I'm not exactly too sure of what the tier will be, but um, regardless, I still think it was a great match. It was really, really fun. I had a lot of fun playing that, and um, I really wanted to test Faith. And um, before you go off on saying how Faith isn't exactly as great as she was portrayed in this battle, don't worry. I fully know all of her flaws. I mean, I know most of his Pokemon had no attacks with Ice or Dragon properties that are super effective against Faith. I mean, he had no really big heavy hitters. Um, and what if Shedskin didn't work a turn, you know, and I still was status? That could have killed me there. And on top of that, I mean, he had no phasers against me as well. So don't worry. I fully understand that Faith is not exactly the prime Pokemon that I may have made it seem in this video. But that does not give you free reign to just say that it's a bad Pokemon. Like, Faith is extremely useful. And it has pretty good leverage in the OU tier and in tiers lower it's a pretty big problem as well. It's my totally custom build for Dragonair and um, I think it's a really really good Pokemon to be used. It has a lot of strong points and I'm not saying that it's the best but I'm saying it's worth giving it a try. You know it's a very interesting unique Pokemon. I've always loved Dragonair ever since the first gen the first gen and um, I thought it was kind of stupid that it turned into a Dragonite because Dragonite looks nothing like Dragonair. I think Dragonair is really cool looking but regardless Thank you very much for watching this battle, and um, if you want to come and see more entertaining videos, I love to entertain the Pokemon community. I have plenty of videos on my channel, and um, hopefully you'll come on down, and um, I, I'm just happy that you'll be entertained. You know, I don't really care if you sub or whatever. Just just come and like the videos. Uh, that's where I appreciate it. Anyways, um, take care, everybody. Have a good one.